Right, okay, you ready? Let's do this. Makoto! Come on! Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's bodies had both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go ahead. Their bodies were in the repository. The repository is... Is it the room? Uh, on the art floor? Uh, hang on. Yeah, there we go, repository. Yeah, it's the room that, um... Oh, joins on to the art room. God, I can't speak. Okay, where can I... I can't quick travel anywhere. Where am I? I'm here! Because <laughs> I'm on the floor, okay. Alright, I've just got to shake off a few cobwebs. On a long Wednesday. Right, okay, so they should all be waiting for me in here. But we tried this door earlier and it was locked, so I'm not surprised they're in here. How are you doing, by the way, Noah? Are you good today, mate? Are the bodies here somewhere? Yeah, I, can, I know where they are, they're straight there. Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. Really good, good stuff, man. Yeah, no worries. That's cool. I understand, Noah. Thank you, I appreciate the luck, dude. Hey, hello, Captain. How you doing, man? Good to see you, mate. It's been good to see you. How, how have you been? I'm pretty good. Hey! Thank you for the fourth month sub, Captain. Cheers, dude. I really appreciate it. A quarter of a year. Thank you so, 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 so much, dude. It's great to see you. How have you been? Are you okay? I guess it's unlocked. Now I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door. And when I entered, I saw... Both the bodies, god damn. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. <laughs> On half a month? No! What? You must. Be, you got a gold duck, so you must be like six months total. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then, I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! So do you reckon we'll have two class trials immediately after each other? Or one class trial about both the murders? Because I don't know. Hmm. And so here we are! It's the Monokuma file! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now, make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later. See ya, Monokuma, old friend. <laughs> hmm. How have you been, Captain? You been up to much, dude? Well then. Now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Uh, hold on. How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! <laughs> awful! This is all just too awful! Ina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who... who would do this? Why? Why? Large, wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this was some world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. You had a great day, oh, that's good. Um, work was alright. It wasn't a massively hard day, to be honest with you. It was actually pretty chilled today. It weren't too bad. So hopefully you can just see out the end of the week now. But this wasn't a movie. What did you have? What did you do on your great day? Did you do anything today? What? Noah, are you seeing this? This wasn't. <sighs> He's alive again. <laughs> oh my god! He can't be killed. Where am I? 
cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Ah, uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Oh, the light. Oh, cool. Sounds like a great day, Captain. And now you're here. I'm ha happy to have you here, dude. It's reaching out to me. Like Hell? the tail of a comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Yasu? Who the hell's Yasu? <laughs> Hero! Hero! It's Hero! The clairvoyant! The dude with the long, like, spiky hair! His eyes closed. And they never opened again. He just died again? Oh my god. That was his that was his last breath. Oh. Hey, no worries, Captain. You don't have to be here every stream at all. We missed you last night, but don't worry, I'm glad you were resting. And I'm glad you're here now. Don't feel like you have to be here every time. If you're too tired, if you'd rather do something else, there's no problem with that at all. I'll be here when you're ready again. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <laughs> this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return, just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. <gasps> he said, Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hagakure. Oh, <laughs> wrong voice. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Shh. Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. Hey, thank you, Tom, for the host. Wait, did the Dr. Pepper pop? I didn't hear it. I don't know if it did. Uh, okay, but thank you, Tom. Cheers, dude. How are you doing? We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. Have you been playing any more Undertale today, Tom? Or any more Danganronpa? First, I better check the Monokuma file. The victors were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. Angon Rompa. <laughs> That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. Oh, good, thank you, Tom. So pumped to play this, and there's already been a couple of twists and turns in like 10 minutes. Hifumi came back to life, and then he died again. Oh, okay, dude, you had the cottage today? We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Oh, Kyoko. 
Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt. She has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? <sighs> an accomplice? <sighs> what are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Oh, really? Okay, Tom, this could be a, a nice surprise for you so as well. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder. Phew! Only one black can graduate, an accomplice gets nothing! So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one black is that did the killing, right? Just like normal. Well? Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... EXTREME! The one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened, so just one person. Well now! That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one blackened, an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Sorry, I've got the itchiest nose. Oh. Hmm. I just want to jam a toothbrush up there or something. Uh, you may be right. Um. If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However. As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hero is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. What? 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 I'm offended. Oh. You? When did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl. Huh? Milk sack? You've gotta be kidding! Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What, 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 what? So what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Hifumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not going to kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> and don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's what I'm thinking, Tom, for sure. There could be like two murders and two killers at the same time. That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by bodies up before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then... Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm... Sure. I'll be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But... Maybe it's just me. But I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Right. Well, shall we start with good old Hifumi, that lovable lump. May he rest in peace. Hifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here, the repository. Pardon me. Sorry, got some windy pops. <clears throat> all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. 
I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in a nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, his glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wipes his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Okay, there we go. Hifumi's glasses are first one. Right, we'll just work all around this room, then after this room, we will go back down to the nurse's office, then after that, we'll go to the physics lab, I guess, to investigate the scene of Taka's murder. So Dolly doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Well, they used the dolly to transport the bodies, or at least Hifumi. Sure. <gasps> Hammers on here. Looks like maybe they took three and painted them. Okay. Oh, we've got a coin. Good stuff. A measly one. Right, Sakura, you got anything <laughs> to say? There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then... Would you like my help? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Mm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor and quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Meaning just after 7 o'clock. Mm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was... Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Hifumi away. Huh. After meeting up with Toko and Bayakuya, we began searching for the costume assailant. We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor and resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow! Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then, right after that, hmm. Celeste screamed. This time she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Mm. And then... Huh? What, what was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Ifumi, he's in a nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Bayakuya and Toko pursued the suspects up onto the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office... We found a Fumi, yeah. Which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. Oh, body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However... But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. 
and that's when I showed up and told you and Bayakuya that Hifunia had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Bayakuya all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Hifumi's body has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Hmm. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some mm. time, Celeste told us that she'd found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. And that brings us up to now. Holy crap. However. That is so long. I didn't realise how long that really was. Oh man. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine any time. No thank you. What we will do is notice that some of the hammers are probably missing. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Okay, we've got a spotless hammer. Right, now we've got Taka's body. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Cool, we got tarp added. Brilliant. So let's talk to uh, Hina. So, um... Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm... After Hifumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository too, you know? Look around. Right here to look around, sorry. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. Hey, what's up, Pyro? How you doing, dude? Happy evening to you, man. Good to see you. It was locked. Hmm. And we came here as soon as the search started. So there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Okay. Can I speak to anyone else? Him. How you been, Pyro, mate? Bayakuya, do you think Hiro really hmm. did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's name. So in other words... Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kinda dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try and hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rules say if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on. Perhaps... I see, so that's what it means. I is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but... You have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. 
His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? Alright, now it's time to leave here. Oh, it's actually very good. Yeah, The Last of Us is incredible. Oh, what the fuck? I just skipped through a load of text. Oh, crap. Sorry for just we wanted to leave the room. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see anywhere to lock it in the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from the inside of the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten him to the repository. So that's certain someone. Okay. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Oh, the last of us is so great. If you like the... Like, it's one of the games... Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, if you like Uncharted, you'll find the gameplay pretty similar. And Uncharted is a game for me that I just can't put down. Like, if it's brand new, if it's a brand new Uncharted, I will blow through that in like a day. And that's sort of the same. <laughs> what are you on about? Calls of the Great Fire of London. Wasn't it a baker's or something? <laughs> you okay, Tom? Where's this come from? Right, well, the physics lab is right here, so we should do that first, I guess. And then we'll go to the nurse's office. See what we found. Or what we find, rather. Right, I'm gonna go straight in here. Fire calls the but what calls the fire? <laughs> oh, it's it's on technically the truth. Well, what's the link say? I can't be bothered to go click it. <laughs> Does it say that fire calls the Great Fire of London? What was the question? There was no question. I was just saying something I, I thought I knew. Why, why am I getting the? Why am I getting stick here? There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. It reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Oh, I didn't know that was the question. What caused the Great Fire of London? <laughs> oh, really? It'll say fire. But then, what caused the fire? That that caused the fire. I don't buy that. I think that's like, some things are like RC, but they're technically true. I don't think that is technically the truth. Surely not. Oh yeah, Baker, there we go. Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Do I sound like a bad sport? It wasn't fire, it was a Baker. Both rooms were on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Right, okay. This is good. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. There's got to be a secret hatch. Surely. Surely. I mean, it was the fire from the bakery that burned down the city, so it's technically the truth. Wouldn't you see it as... Whatever caused the fire in the bakery caused the Great Fire of London. Is that the, the, do, you see, do you see that point of view? I don't know. I don't know if I should just be like, <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Oh god. But I'm a bit like, eh, I don't know. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Oh really? Don't do anything about the hammer? The bakery. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I get you now. So if it wasn't, I'm just assuming that it's an accidental fire in the bakery. No, they could have just been like firing an oven up, as was what they would do every day. But then that fire caught the rest of the bakery fire. So yeah, I get it. So it was fire. I got it. It took me a while, a painful few minutes, but I'm with you now. <laughs> yeah, that technically is the truth. 
Right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. For some reason, I was thinking like, I don't know, a pot of fat spilling into something. Or like a pot of grease spilling into a, a fire, making the fire bigger. So in that, I'd say, well, it was the grease that caused the fire. That burnt down London. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting way off topic here. <laughs> yeah, roll credits. End stream. See you. Huh, this top. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Come on, dude, that's a fucking clue. Smack him in the face. Is it not what you want? Okay, fine. We'll go back here. Maybe I should have gone to the nurse's office first. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. What? what, what, what? <laughs> God damn it, Noah. Grease is the word. I can't believe that. When What came... Saturday Night Fever was before Grease, right? This is nothing to do with The Great Fire of London. I'm just uh, going on tangents. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Yeah, we should have gone to the nurse's office first. Can I quick travel? Oh god, where can I go? Okay, I can go there. Nurse, I'm hurt. It came out in the same year, Jesus Christ, what a year for Johnny T. Strut any stuff to the Bee Gees before turning a good girl bad in Greece. Jesus Christ, man, that must have been Travolta fever that year. Now he's just known for picking up random dudes at the gym. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Hey, Geek, thank you. Wait, what the hell? I don't think Streamlabs alerts are, work are working. Because Tom's host didn't happen earlier. Mm -hmm. um. Thank you so much, Geeks and Drone, for this for the two months, for your second month. I really, really appreciate it. How are you? I hope you're well. What I'm gonna quickly do is um, oh, I don't know what to do to try and fix that. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, of course it works with Twitch Prime, dude. I've had loads of, uh, <laughs> I've had loads of Twitch Prime subs. But no, there's been tons of Twitch Prime subs that have uh, triggered it. A sub's a sub. Thank you so much, Geek Syndrome. I appreciate it. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Hmm. How are you doing, Geek Syndrome? Are you good today? I hope so. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Right, we've got Celeste's account. Thank you, Celeste. Take a rest. Mind your breast. This is a test. That's a camera. Okay, let's check the bin. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a, a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Oh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh. Oh, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth. And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. It's obviously Hifumi's. Yeah, you should get plugs. You should have got your plugs. Uh... Test your plugs for me, Geek Syndrome, because resubs, you should get an extra 800 plugs. Let me know if you did, and if you didn't, I'll give you some manually. I'm trusting you to tell me if you did or not. Right, it's all the button. Oh, okay, there's the other hammer. Oh, yeah, try refreshing if you haven't. 
quick swig of water. Mmm. That is some beautiful water if I do so so myself. Justice Hammer 3. The one that was used to kill Perfumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. Like what? We got no more clues? A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Ooh, just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. That doesn't help me though, I'm not a vampire. Hmm. Okay, my mind's starting to wander. There's blood packets in here. What if Hifumi fakes his first attack? Maybe. When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, yes, right? Yes, indeed. Alright, correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seems to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. When you got, did mm. we just read this? Yeah, okay, we did indeed. just read that. Um, I thought there'd be loads more in this room to do. Hmm. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Uh, um, <laughs> you should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. Oh, it's his lovely writing. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left the impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Asshole. Right, we've got his message. So he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? We shall soon find out. Makoto, my dude. Right. So Hero lives. Mm. No. No. Oh, here. No, that's Sakura. Sorry. Must be around the corner. Leon. Here he is. Right, do you reckon he's in there? The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Ayakuya did say go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm going to take the plunge. Here we go. What the crap? This room is so much more decorated than ours. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Where on earth did we start? Wait, so... Okay, we'll start with... Oh, there's not really a lot you can interact with. Only these boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something. Oh, look! It's the mech suit! And... Some things made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? It's in Hero's room. But wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. His handwriting's crap. It's not the same handwriting. It's not his handwriting. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so someone else has written them blueprints. I would say. It's a normal bed, pretty much just like the one in my room. What's in the bathroom? I soundlessly check the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Right, so we'll check the camera and the TV just to be safe. Spend its camera? Yep, yeah, okay, don't worry. And will you find a coin in your TV? It's one of the monitors one Akuma appears on? Good. Right, I think then that's it. We found the blueprints. Now imagine we now go up to where Taka died. Hello, you right? 
Oh, but of course, that's on already. I'm quick. Yeah. Yeah, we're 20 to 8. Are you alright? Uh -huh. Oh, good. Hello. You okay? Good. Got to, got to find out who killed two people. I don't know. Vokoto, big news. Big news. Oh, Tom says hello to you. You probably can't hear you. <laughs> Say it loud. Hello. <laughs> well, what's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice. Hmm. It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Okay, this is starting to heat up now. Things are unraveling quickly. Oh, damn. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Kyoko and... I mean... Phew, man, I have had the worst day. Hero? What the absolute crap? Right. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe he kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something? What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Well... There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know how people think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? First of all, Hero. You need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Uh, well, I mean... I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Um... Look, let me out of here! I don't know what's up with this thing, but... I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> oh, free at last. <sighs> Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Uh, wait, uh, hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints are in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be... Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's terrible! Was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him kidding anyone else. What? What? The, tie me up. But hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah. I mean... Uh, um... Attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please! What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit. Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. How did his hair even fit in it all? I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. 
That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Uh, okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces of the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can Just wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... But then, there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence. <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must fit it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Which is how I know it was him. What? what? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Would someone like to tell me? Cool, the Robo Justice costume has been added. Then I guess. Oh, let me have a look at this locker first. There's a big locker near the pool. Oh, was that it? Let's speak to him then. What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Oh, well. Two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? What? Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please? I did not. Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% right. Which means Alter Ego and Alter Hero must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... Uh, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so then. Ah, I know. That note. The note? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out. So don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. <sighs> but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. And for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance of escape, someone wrote all that to trick me. Oh. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. <sighs> well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? <laughs> they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Oh. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean! Well, you should buy it. Just a second! Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. No way. Uh, looks like I lost it. Ah. Yeah, sure. Please! You gotta believe me. I wouldn't have heard a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Ah. <laughs> what the heck? For serious? Right, his account. <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? Excuse me. There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why why did you kill him kill him? Tell us, Hero. Uh -huh. No, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why. Please! That's a false accu accu accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't found and gagged you. 
If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? What? Ah, oh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. Feet don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko, uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have to, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I've got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway... I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. We have to hurry, before the class trial begins again. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Okay, the repository. Not a problem, Maury. We've already been to a repository though. Oh, she don't want to see the scene. She wants to see where the bodies are now, right? Not where they were first killed. Okay. Oh, what if they're missing again? That would be creepy as hell. Ifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Should we have a look at Taka's body this time? Taka was killed by a blow to the head. He must have been struck with Justice Hammer 4, which was laying on the floor in the equipment room. And there's a tarp laid out under his body. The killer must have used it to move Taka's body. That way it wouldn't leave any bloodstains as it was moved. Oh, that's good, Tom, if you can't remember. The biggest problem I have right now, i got no idea. I don't think it's Hero, based on... Sounds like he's been set up, framed. It's how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse. From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here the repository. Yeah, okay. We read that. Oh, no, we haven't read this, sorry. He was most likely killed using Justice Hammer 3, which we found in the nurse's office. But when we found his body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that and why? Oh, okay, Tom. I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? You did? Woo. Are you so oblivious so, to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch. So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six. That's right. But last night, Tucker's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long have you got to keep us waiting? Tucker's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6pm. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Okay, 6 this morning. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... 
Rigor mortis is already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Tekka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. Was that all we had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. 103 clues. Oh. Oh, well done. We got over 100. Gemma went viral on Twitter. <laughs> right, let's have a look at Hifumi. Oh, it's the same thing. I need to talk to her again, right? God damn. It's like the third time I've accidentally triggered this. Sorry, um, Kyoko. I'll just speak to you. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's right. Yes, I did, Tom. I did say hi. Where, where, where was you? I literally said hi as soon as you said hi. <laughs> if Fumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants. Not like his socks or something. I got to say... Oh, do you not remember? I got to say hi like three times because she was too quiet. I can't remember, okay. Uh, I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like... It better be important to me, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note. I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in your quick room at 6am. So... Hmm. The note that Hiro's on about. That sounds very familiar. That's it. It's the same thing Hiro said. And he was telling us the truth. However... Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. Oh, like five hours before. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1am. But the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6am. And Taka's watch broke at 6am, so that's got to be connected. Is that right? Hold on. Just because Ifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to the part of it being ripped? Uh, could you maybe explain it a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I, I have no idea. So then? What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. God, I don't get it. But I kind of get it, but I don't really get it that much. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Part that's Ritz is obviously the name of the person who was given the letter or hero's name. Yeah, maybe. Well, when I thought of it, I thought there was a struggle. So, um, so Taka was holding it, and Hifumi ripped it out of his hands, and that bit tore. That's how, I, or, or, or reverse. I imagine it, it being someone struggling over it. 